Hi, my name is Ben McEnroe. I was the head football coach at Chaminade from 2003 through 2006, and I had the honor and privilege to coach Logan Paulson during the 2003 and 2004 football seasons. Logan Paulson was one of the first student athletes that I saw at a workout at Chaminade. I remember walking up to the track with Coach Sauter, and uh, Coach Sauter looked at me and said, that guy's got a chance to be a Division I athlete if he gets a little bit bigger. And I remember looking at Paul and saying, that guy's got a chance to be an NFL athlete if he gets any bigger. Logan was 16 years old. He was about 6'4", a little over 200 pounds. But there was an additional hurdle that we had to deal with, and that was the fact that Logan was a soccer player. Not just any soccer player. He was a two-time All-CIF and four-time All-Mission League soccer player. He was also a premier level club soccer player. So we didn't see much of Logan in the summertime prior to his junior year. He didn't attend a lot of the workouts. He missed a lot of the passing leagues. And we got Logan towards the end of the summer going into his junior season. With all that being said, Logan went on to a record-breaking junior year sacking the quarterback, opposing quarterbacks, 24 times in that season. He also had 26 catches for over 300 yards. As Logan's junior season wound down, we knew that it was time to get together with Logan and his family to discuss his future. I don't make a lot of promises to families when it comes to college recruiting, but I knew that if we could spend a little bit more time with Logan during the offseason, that we could garner at least one full-ride Division I scholarship offer. At the end of soccer season, and once Logan completed his track obligations, the real work started to take place. Logan spent a lot of time in the weight room and in the strength and conditioning program, and that's where the hard work met the talent. Logan worked himself into one of the top tight end prospects in the entire country and was rated by Scout.com as the 48th best football player on the West Coast. Heading into his senior season, Logan had multiple scholarship offers to play Division I football and he didn't disappoint anybody in that senior year. Colleges from across the country came out to watch Logan, and he had a spectacular season with another 30 or so catches for nearly 500 yards and several touchdowns as he led our team back to the CIF playoffs. At the end of the day, as Logan weighed all of his college choices, he felt that UCLA was the best fit for academics and athletics, and he signed with the Bruins. Logan went on to have an outstanding career at UCLA as a four-year starter, and in 2010 was selected as an undrafted free agent and signed with the Washington Redskins where he played in 11 games his rookie season. Since then, he's been a mainstay in the Redskins' offense and on special teams. He's also actively involved in the community in the Washington, D.C. area. On behalf of the entire Chaminade football family, congratulations to Logan and the entire Paulson family for his induction into the Chaminade Alumni Hall of Fame.